Welcome to the Empire by this Rampant, and welcome back to my RK on the Ever Chosen campaign for Warhammer 3, where we're going to continue left off from last time. Well, right now, we're starting our collection of Chaos Lords as Pokemon, where we have our fighting dragon type as Kolok. We now have our fighting psychic type with Village, and now I think we're going to be going for our flying fighting type as this Valkia. That's basically the plan today, is that's going to be the next uh, le uh, legendary lord that we're going to be going for. Basically, right now, what I intend to do is, uh, Village at the moment is beat up for five more turns. I'm basically going to try and stay around here for at least that amount of time. I'm going to have it so we take the Turtle Gates and everything around here. And sn Turtle and Snake Gates. Try and have it so we can beat those down with Archaeon. Let's try and have it so we go for the... I say the Snake Gate first. Because I really kind of want to try and actually go over... Ooh, hello! Ooh, a little random wandering army! I wonder if you're going to run or if I'm going to be able to hit you. I can't hit you this turn. Next turn I might be able to, though. But we'll be trying to go over there. I am trying to bring Kolek back this way now, so you'll be joining on in. Basically what I'm going to do is the weaker of my legendary lords will kind of be the ones working together. So, Kolek, you and Village, until you both have full stack armies, will kind of work together to kind of bolster each other up and make sure you guys can get some more time to kind of keep recruiting and gathering. Oh, there's more Aspiring Champions there. I do want to also double check and remind you guys that, hey, we did also have a new, uh, several more, a lot of new name suggestions. So we have the uh, We Are the Champions for some of my aspiring champions. We have Lily's X's, which is kind of interesting to consider with Lily's Chosen. And then also the Eternal Shadows for all those inspiring champions. Also, I named these guys More Cores Lost. Um, there are all descriptions and comments or on my Discord. That's where those are going to be popping up on where these names are coming from. But now we have a massive list over on my Discord. And I love having more of these. We have a ton more now that I still need to get the right units to do that with. Uh, Research-wise now, let's see. So, again, we're trying to get over here because I want to be able to get regen for my Aspiring Champions inherently. We just recently had one of the eye things give me that. So we can also now, now spawn... Plague Bearers in our armies, which is really nice. I would probably say... We don't have anybody that's vassalized with uh, Nurgle just yet, which I want to get at some point. Nurgle Corruption from Chaos Elders. Corruption for each active gift of Nurgle. I don't really care about those, but I do need to get over here. So just start trying to get as many of them as we can. 12 turns from now, we'll be able to finally finish that stuff off. And I do have a rank up. I'm still going to wait on my heroes. I want them to be at least, I'd say, level 10 before I name them. Actually, I should probably name you. I should switch your name out. Um, but let's have you just grab more scouting for right now. And then let me go, because uh, there actually were a couple names for heroes that were suggested. So let me go see which one fits this guy best. So we're going to go with, uh, so from Prince uh, Ogrox to now, he is, uh, it's not taking effect, but he is now Skrisgar Skrielf. So he's got, a, he's got a name on him. I don't know why it's not updating right now, but that's fine. Um, otherwise, besides that, we have some stuff to build. This is just for a replenishment one. I want to see if there's one that... Okay, so I can upgrade this to get a bit more cash. And then all of the... Okay, I can get this one to get a bit more cash too. And I do want to try... Because again, I only want to control land that is either the Dark Citadels or something that has a resource. And for right now, at least, I know a lot of land I have around here I don't need. Um, so let me try and talk to... Uh, you guys, I can't give the land I was thinking of. Um, I think I can go back over to these guys, though, and give them a little bit. So North you guys, specifically, um, let's try and converge. offer some settlements. The um, I can offer, south. so let's see, so we don't want to give up the Bloodwind Keep or um, the Bouldery. We do want to give up the Fortress of Eyes. That's one we can give up right there. So let's give you that, and I can get some to then trade with you properly and get some cash out yes. of you. So let's grab that, give you that land there. And um, what else can I want to give? Uh, that I want to keep, that I want to keep. Um, do I want to give you guys the turtle gate? Actually, you know what? I'm going to give you guys the gate. So, uh, the, sorry, the dragon gate. So the dragon gate, yeah, let me give you the dragon gate. I'll give you guys this, ask for some more money in return, and then you guys can try and build that up. Because I only want to control the resource in Dark Fortresses. I have no reason to control anything else. Um, Dolgan, I know as soon as I start pushing over here, I can give you guys some land. Always can I get trade with you? If I offer you contest. money, I might be able to. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll pay that back in like 12 turns. So now we at least have trade with all of you guys. Uh, Wintertooth, can I actually get anything from you just yet? You don't hate me the worst right now. You actually don't mind me at the moment. Let's see. Uh, Talisman of Endurance. Uh, yes, please. I want some more, uh, ward save, I'd say. You guys are mobilized against that army. Good. Because for the most right part right now, Basically, I don't intend to really expand over here at the moment. Ooh, I actually do have my quest battles available too right now. I should try and do some of those. 
Ooh, I'm tempted to do that uh, right now, actually. Because we're kind of waiting for Village to come back. I do kind of want to hit the Snake Gate. I could do that first, then hit the Snake Gate. Actually, yeah, because I'm almost level 20 at this point right now. Um, let's see, so we have... Let's look at my quests. So, my quests that I've got available. So we have Slayer of Kings. Let's see, out of all of these armies, which one's the weakest? Technically this one. So we can get the uh, Eye of Shivian. That gives me Barrier, reduces wind cost on all magic. Uh, more Zinj Authority for my entire army. That wouldn't be the worst. Armor of Morakar, though, does give me straight-up ward save. And some charge reflection, melee defense uh, for all my army units around him. Um, what's the army for this? So that one... Bunch of cast warriors, bunch of marauders. Let's see, save kings. I would probably say okay. So, easiest one would probably be this one. Per se, yeah. Let's let's do this one. So let's do this force here. Reinforcements are expected, but at the moment, my army is already pretty disgusting. And then we can just have it so we kind of like raid your shit while we replenish a little bit more. Yeah, because that will allow me to replenish, I believe. So let's do that. So let's go teleport over. Let's do the eye. Uh, let's go make it so I can improve my spell casting a little bit. And then let's see. I've got a leadership. I only have leadership assigned banners. I don't want any. Actually, putting these on the trolls, not actually the worst thing now that I think about it. Because you guys have horrendous morale. I don't intend to keep these units for very long, but hey, might as well do it. But let's do my quest, one of my quest battles here. And then I can probably prepare to start making my way over. Hopefully we don't take too much damage. And then I can make my way over and start trying to hit the Turtle Gate. Um, we need to buy four turns until Village gets around here. Then he and um, I can have he, uh, him and Kolek uh, stay around. I do want to try and have it so that I can maybe still get the defeat traits for Cathay first. Before I have Archeon leave this area properly. Just because both their traits are actually pretty good. I'd probably say at least we need to get... Um, Oh my god, why do I always forget her name? <laughs> it was, uh, Emmerich's waifu. Arise, and your cards. Not some weak minion sent by the gods. No, what confronts me is something more corrupt, more bestial. It serves no master, seeks no glory other than its own. And that I abhor, even as I rip at its throats. For it must die! No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and me! That's accurate. That's accurate. Because we are starting to get to the point where our Archeon is starting to get pretty beefy. So let's have uh, him and my hero. Actually, my hero's flying right now, so I should have you in a different group. Um, have you in your own group. You're going to be with the... Let me go with the flanking troops. You guys there. I'm going to have all of my chosen in one group. Uh, basically, I should want to have you guys try and kind of follow Archeon around. You're kind of his personal vanguard. So you guys are going to be around over here. You guys will be there. All of you stay with the uh, Chaos Warriors. I don't actually have a lot of uh, Marauders now in this army at this point in time. You guys can kind of go there. Knights there. And then uh, they're expecting reinforcements. I don't know what they're expecting to have with their reinforcements. But I think it shouldn't be that bad. All of my units have regen right now, which is really nice. So let's start the battle here. Let's get you guys to start moving forward. Killer's forces and the Dragon Lord shall surely appear. I'm expecting that to be some sort of uh, Dragon Ogre Shagoth that's going to be attacking us here. I just want to get that nice view of the units as we make our run forward. They are going to start unloading on us at some point. I'm not looking forward to that. As you guys have, like, what, four Hell Cannons initially? Because what I can try and do is, uh... Archeon, you're starting to get pretty good with your melee defenses. Yeah, 30% physical, 5 ward save. I can probably send you in to do some good initial damage. Because they only had a bunch of Forsaken and everything like that. Yeah, it's not bit that bad. I know I'm going to try and have my uh, Chaos Knights. You're going to try and go around the backside. I'm going to try and have you guys kind of push on in. See if you guys can try and, uh... So wait until my Spartan Champions get up here, too. Have it so you guys will deal with the Hell Cannons. So you guys kind of go over there. Just keep, keep making your way over to the side here. And all of my Chaos Warriors will be kind of trying to follow on up with everybody else. Yeah, those hits are hurting. Okay, Archeon, I wanted you to kind of delay. Uh, just start trying to push on in now. Same with you guys. You're going to start trying to get around the side here. 
Yeah, my Chaos uh, Knights here are taking a ton of damage. Can you fucking stop that, please? Because, like, you guys are trying to make your way out in. Archeon's going forward. He's going to try and start distracting the enemy army a little bit here. See if you can get them to stop trying to unload on us. Yeah, unload, focus on these guys. Try and have my Spiron Champions basically try and help out around here. They're almost here. They're almost here. My caster is ready. You guys didn't take too much damage. You can get around the back side now. Some of you guys, let's have you now start trying to hit these Forsaken on the left side. Archeon's taking some damage. Um, let's make sure we spawn some stuff on top of him. He's not insane uber uh, lord just yet. He's getting it. But yeah, let's just get some magic down on top of this. That should help out quite a bit there. Okay, there you go. Much better. Let's see you guys here. Yeah, now he's doing okay. And he, we, everybody has regen right now. Let's get some more abilities in there. There we go. Okay, Cav, focus on the Hell Cannons. Let's see, my Chaos Warriors are still making their way up. Spiron Champions are almost up here. Yeah, without their cannons operational, now we should be able to do a lot more damage to them. Because all four of these guys can be dealt with my can my account. Um, let's see, my tro their trolls doing some good damage to Archeon. I need to make sure that you use your heal there. Spiron Champions are now getting here. Let's make sure that my uh, caster keeps summoning stuff on top of that. Because the moment we're distracting them, and with my Aspiring Champions now getting here to help out, this blob should start dying rather quickly. There we go, because like this side's breaking. Aspiring Champions specifically. Kind of try and focus on the Chaos Giant, if anything, out of all of those. Chaos Knights, you're doing good. All four cannons are almost dead now. And my Chaos Warriors are almost here. It's taking you guys forever. One of you is. Uh, that's the uh, Mirror Guard. Let's have you help out on the left side first. I think they're almost fully dead, but we can get you over there first. Okay, this fir first army is now defeated. Now we're waiting on the uh, reinforcing army here. So the Dragon Lord approaches, kill him and his warriors will flee. So is it just this random general? Yeah, it's the random general that's uh, flying about. So we just need to get him to land, and then Archeon should be able to easily deal with him, I would think. We just need to finish off. There's a couple Forsaken still fighting. Pretty much everybody here is just the giant now at this point. The giant is the only one that's left now out of the rest of the enemy army. He's doing some good damage, but ideally, since I now have all my Chaos Warriors here with the Halberds, uh, he should be dead soon. Once you die, then we can focus my entire attention onto the enemy reinforcements. Okay, so is this it? Just the, uh, the Lord and, like, three Dragon Ogres? That might be it. Like, yeah, come on, fight us. These guys have anti-large. I'm gonna do a breath attack onto some of my, onto the mirror guard. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Come on, land, you son of a bitch. I need you to land, because then we can actually finally deal with you, at least for right now. It looks like he's focusing on my Chaos Warriors. Well, I'm glad almost every single Chaos Warrior I have is anti-large, so, yep, for sure. Go on in there. Archeon, let's have you guys deal with the Dragon Ogres initially here, because with my Aspiring Champions focusing this unit down, I don't think they'll actually do all that much damage. Yeah, no, it's pretty even right there. Pretty even. Make sure you keep debuffing them. And then the, the Dragon, the Chaos Dragon. Can, what units can actually even get these anymore? Because... I know, uh, I know Arkan used to have one. He doesn't anymore now, but, uh, I still love the Chaos Dragon unit looks. I'm kind of sad that, like, uh, I just finished a Nimmer campaign before this campaign, and, uh, he never got to have any Chaos Dragons in his armies. Never. Just such a shame. Yeah, with regen on my Aspiring Champions, they don't all fully have that just yet. Man, they're tanky. And even my, the rest of my army, too. I wish I could technically sit there a little bit longer, just get a little bit more punishment. Sadly can't. But there we go. Now it's one of my quest battles completed. That'll give me a little bit better casting for Arcan himself. I, I'm not going to really use him as a caster, but it's still an item I want to grab. Actually, it might be part of a set for Arcan. Um, I have to check that and see if it gives him an overall bonus once he has every single one of his items. Because he's supposed to have four items to be considered the Ever Chosen. Um, so I think maybe it is part of that set. That'd be kind of nice if it was. Because at least this is the first one. I uh, didn't take too much damage. It was primarily focused on Archeon himself, uh, onto the Mirror Guard, and then some of my um, Hounds, but that's fine. So what we'll do is, I think if I remember correctly, I think if I'm in Raiding Stands for Chaos Warriors, I should be able to get some replenishment. And we can kind of just raid outside of the... Uh, oh, actually, I might get enough replenishment just from that. Yeah, most of you guys actually almost get to full health of that. 
because let's see, is this part of a set? Also, the barrier on Archeon is going to be great. Like, that alone is really nice. Is this part of a set? Let's see. Also, we got a lot of XP from that, too. It is a part of a set. So, let's see. So, all armies, relations, not, not what I was hoping for, but it's part of the, so yeah, the armor of Morkar, the crown of domination, the eye, Dorgar, and then the Slayer King. So, if we get every single one of those, all my armies have increased authority for all armies, and we have better relations with uh, basically all of Chaos, pretty much. So, there we go. Well, at least we now have Barry on him. 800 points of Barrier is actually pretty nice. That is really nice. So, skills, let's see. So, we got all this maxed out. I've got his uh, blue line maxed out. I would probably say I want to make him stronger now. So I would probably... Oh, actually, Chosen of the Gods. Need to get that first. That gives me hit points, melee defense, and weapon damage. Yes. Uh, I don't think we need to get his red line for... Well, actually... Because let's see. Because I can get basically more... Because uh, I'll grab this one that gives me armor and melee attack for all my units. And then I'll be grabbing the one that gives me better stuff for Cav. So that would give me more melee defense and charge bonus for my cav. Um, Legion of Doom gives him more armor and melee defense, speed, melee attack, missile resistance. I do kind of want to make him himself stronger. Let's let's get his yellow line first, then my heroes. Going back over to you guys. Training's maxed out. Um, let's have you get some more health. Oh, actually, you actually can get Dead Deadly also now. So, get you some more health. And then my caster. Um, let's see if he gets more scouting. And then I'll have you get the, the Hounds. Golden Hounds ability. Let's go with that for right now. And then Archeon's army. Let's see. So, if I go into Raiding Stands, I'll be able to barely touch their land. And I will get replenishment. So, yeah. Just sit here. Raid a turn. See if they want to do anything. Next turn, we'll hit them. Um, building upgrades. So, let's see. So, over here. So where's that improvement? Just another percentage. But it does give me more money. Um, this area here, though, I, I need to make sure we get the better guard tower. This one area specifically, we need to make sure it can actually defend itself, as I won't be able to really send much over here uh, for quite a while. So we now have some beastmen around back here. Hmm. I don't specifically like you having this force around here, unless you're my vassal. Because I don't want you to start burning shit around here. Because this is Kazrak's shit. He does like me. Let's see. Let's see. Become vassal. I, I'm only going to accept vassalizations. No proper military alliances. So I'm probably going to have it. So what we'll do is... Uh, it's not a bad thing to get another trait. Yeah, because Cole, like, you're making your way over here. I can have you keep grabbing more... Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. We have some more dragon ogres. Keep adding them into your army. Oh my god, somebody gave me a convoy? Who the fuck gave me a convoy? Oh, probably the Chaos Dwarves, actually. So yeah, let's have you keep making your way over here, Kolak. Keep grabbing more Dragon Ogres as you see fit. There's no more in this region. Uh, what about this spot over here? Uh, none over here. There's a Manticore over there, though. You guys no, don't have any more. Okay, but that's fine. Um, Archeon, though, I believe you are ready. Let's start trying to push on into the Snake Gate here. This is Pyrrhic Victory... You can see why. There's a lot of missile damage there. But, we've got a lot of armor. Eh, how much armor piercing these things have again? These guys have armor piercing of 6. So not insane armor piercing. But, I think we can push on in here. Let's push on into the snake gate. We'll uh, burn this area to the ground. And then keep making my way over to what is going to be the next Dark Fortress we're trying to take from Cathay. It'll be another 3 turns until I get village here. And that's when I'll be having it. So ideally, when we do finally get him uh, back around here, um, I will have a new Chaos Knight because I'm going to be giving him the Zinch one. I probably will actually, I think you, I think you can have this Chaos Warrior switch over to a Knight for me. Um, and I know I want to get rid of these Hounds and the Trolls at some point. Honestly, I don't care if they ever die as I'm not opposed to them being completely replaced at some point. So let's just try and have it so we keep just throwing them in. And if they die, they die. Uh, I don't care if we lose trolls. Maybe those will be the high casualties we take here. Because all of my armies have regen for, I think it was five turns. So all of my units should still have regen. Uh, do they not anymore? Oh, was it seriously only that couple turns? Oh, no. Archeon. I don't know. I, don't know. Hmm. I could have sworn we were supposed to have some for a bit longer. Weird. Okay, well, let's see. So, for right now here, um, I'm going to try and have it so... Probably just going to have to rush this section, honestly. I was like, I have Archeon and the... Uh, well, Archeon, I want you to kind of run forward and get the gate down. 
my Aspiring Champions, and uh, my Chaos Warriors. I need you to get onto the walls, because if we get melee with these forces, we'll be able to do this. I don't think you guys siege attack here, if I remember correctly. I don't believe you do, so you won't be able to bring down the walls. I don't have anything that can bring down the walls. I'm going to have my knights kind of just hide over here and see if you guys can try and get open a gate and start running on in and taking points. So Archeon's grouped up. I'll have um, you grouped up, Chaos Warriors grouped up, Marauders won't really do much, and then I'll probably have it so uh, you guys... I might have you try and break open this gate here, ideally. So start the battle, start deployment. Archeon, run forward. Spiring Champions try and get up onto the walls. Same with my Chaos Warriors. Um, I, don't, I only see, like, one guy over here, so I think you guys can make your way over there. Archeon, yeah, try and draw some of the shots since you have the barrier now. And you guys try and break open this gate. I'll have my hero. Uh, you try and get into melee with those Jade Crossbowmen to try and distract them. Does this have... Uh, it looks looks like it's supposed to be able to... Yeah, affects walls. Um, let's do that here. Can that break the walls immediately for me? If that can break the walls... Then, oh yeah, I can. Oh, beautiful. Okay, then we just have a breach immediately. So, uh, that's perfect. Yeah, actually, Chaos Warriors, just make your way forward there. Yeah, rush on to the breach. My Chaos, uh, let's have my uh, Aspiring Champions. You guys take the walls. Archeon's already pushing inside. Yeah, get in melee there. I love that it just instantly one-shots that spot. So we do have a breach now, so kind of push on in here, guys. Get on and melt up. Oh, you're being idiots. The gates are wide open. Just break the gates and then eventually you guys will be able to run it into. Yeah, the Aspiring Champions are taking the walls. I'll have uh, Archeon and the Aspiring Champions kind of focus on the western side of the uh, Bastion. And I'll probably have it so that, let's see, where's my Sorcerer? Sorcerer, you're in the back kind of here, chilling. Um, this is the Marauder unit. You can just kind of make your way forward. Have you guys broken the gates yet? Uh, nope, not yet. So keep trying to break that. Knights, you have been able to break the gates. Let's have you. Let's see. So those are... Those are halberds. So yeah, ignore them for right now. Can I run up this way? Oh, I can. Ooh, yeah. So run out to the side here. Try and basically just go capture points. And then Archaon and the Aspiring Champions. Yeah, you guys are pushing in here hard. So just kind of keep pushing in. Try and go for those peasant archers. And then my Chaos Warriors, since there was the breach here. You guys can keep trying to just push them back. Uh, gates, did we finally break it down? No, some of you just warped through it. Sure, that's fine. Chaos Knights, I do need to have it so that you guys... Let's see, those are the Lancers. Just ignore them. Just go straight to that point, start capturing it. Okay, things have been going well. Archeon has been pushing on into the left side. Uh, my Chaos Warriors and everybody, my Aspiring Champions, you're now slaughtering the uh, archers that are stuck around here. Chaos Knights, you're trying to make your way forward and get to the final capture point. Because if you guys can capture that, we can start ticking the t uh, siege in my favor right now. You guys are taking a little bit more damage than I would like right now, given how things have been going. But my Chaos Warriors have basically taken no damage. Because do you guys have regen active right now? No, you don't. You do not have regen anymore. So it was only like for two or three turns that you guys had regen, which is kind of sad. I was hoping it was for a little bit longer. But no, you guys can keep pushing on in here, doing some good damage. These guys are pretty much just ignored right now. Just my Chaos Knights. Uh, you guys need some support back here. Like, I'm trying to get Archeon back there, ideally. Right now, just having you keep casting on top of yourself to slowly kill these guys off. My uh, Sorcerer... Oh, I was an idiot. I didn't bring you inside. Oops. There we go. You guys are just about to take the final capture point over here. And my Chaos Warrior is doing far better over on this side now. With the support of my uh, Spellcaster. The area around this has been starting to break rather nicely for us. Uh, Spiring Champions, you're slowly grouping up. Okay, you've now been able to group back up with Archeon now. To be able to easily help him take this section. And then you guys can push on in, start taking this capture point. Um, it's currently under my control, but it's not ticking in my favor just yet, which is surprising. Oh, actually, that's why, because you guys actually brought a lot of stuff over here. And I actually need to get out of here. Those, that's a lot of anti-large. If I leave you guys here, you're still going to die. Yeah, they're just about to take back the uh, final point, but... My hero and the trolls are about to take the second, the first uh, frontier point. So you guys are doing well over there. Uh, struggling a little bit more with my chaos warriors. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can to the forces of the uh, skirmishers with my caster. He's just only able to do so much with what he's got over here. 
So I can keep spamming some stuff over here. You guys are almost done over here, actually. Let's get a little bit over there to help out. Chaos Knights, you're just trying to help capture more points right now. And actually, I see some vulnerable skirmishers. Ooh. Kind of keep making me back over there. Archeon and my champions, you're slowly pushing on into this section here. Just keep making sure to cast your spells and do all your debuffs you can onto these guys. There we go, they're all routing! So, at this point here, at least on this side, they've now started to route. Chaos Warriors start trying to push on in to hit these Chaos Warriors. It's not these Chaos Warriors. They betrayed me. Uh, no, to try and hit those uh, forces of Cathay. Uh, Archeon, um, I would primarily want you guys to focus on trying to get to this point. This point here is top priority at the moment right now, because if we take it, then we are able to start having the uh, counter start ticking down in my favor. Archeon at least is in range to try and give some support with some magic for my hero here. There we go. So with Archeon support around here, you guys have now been able to finally break and take this section. Uh, now we seem to have it so you guys keep pushing forward to deal more damage to the enemy forces. Um, the thing is ticking out. Oh, actually, they just gave up. They just fucking gave up right there. Perfect. So we have now taken. I had to take a bit of damage there. Not as bad. Not that bad though. Um, Archeon did a lot of damage. Um, and without us having regen, that still went fairly well. I'm still kind of a sad that, uh, I was, I thought that regen was supposed to last for like five turns. No, it looks like it only lasted two turns, but hey, this is not that bad. All of my forces, uh, survived here. I might actually have this be the opportunity, uh, just to disband that war, uh, hound unit. Technically, it survived. I don't give a shit if it does, though. Uh, probably have it so we can just get replaced that and try and have it be a marauder to start trying to slowly gain a new, uh, chaos warrior unit. Um, and it'll be, like, we're getting close. I can't wait until we have regen on my aspiring champions. My re- those guys with regen, just from my quest battle, we saw how strong they can be with a bit of regen. So yeah, those guys all survived, but we can now have it, so I definitely want to sack this area, so let's sack it. And then just hit it again. Ooh, there we go, Summoners of Rage. We can now have that Regiment of Renown unlocked for, um, let's occupy it. And then I would probably just say, we'll technically just give it over, like, yeah, kind of stand outside of it. Stand outside of it, and then let me just give this over to my allies, because there's no reason for me to control that region. So let me go here, what? talk to you guys. Then. Give you a region. I want to give you guys the snake gate, uh, and then ask for some money. Eh, not a ton, but it's something. Get you guys to kind of watch over it for me, and then I will get replenishment and keep making my way over to Nangao next turn. Uh, rank ups, though, we do have some rank ups. So Archeon, we're trying to have you focus on improving yourself right now. So let's give you some better defenses there. My hero, you needs more armor, uh, some more health. My caster. Uh, keep upgrading the uh, Gehenna's Golden Hounds ability. Yes. Let's grab that. And I am just going to disband this Warhound unit. Just get rid of them and just replace it with another Marauder. Uh, do that. And then I need to make sure, before I forget, uh, let's get you... Where, let's see, do they have any more around here right now? No, they don't. But, Regiments of Renown. We can finally start putting those guys into your army. So, you, Colex, I need his army. Hmm, starting to like it. Starting to look really nice here. Um, building upgrades, though, back over here. Definitely, again, we want to make sure we have defenses, and then keep upgrading the economic buildings. I think that's all we need to really spend my money on for right now. At least, I don't really see the need to... S also, these might be unnecessary with the whole fact that I have the, um, gift that gives me growth every time I win a fight. Because that's actually amazing. Ooh, looks like another one of my quest battles is available. Which one's this one? So this is for the... So you don't care about that right now. This is for the Crown of Domination, which will give me more melee attack, melee defense, more authority for Undivided, and then passive ability, which gives me cause terror. Also makes immune to psychology for people around him. Nice! I do like that. I do like that a lot. Um, now let's see. So going back over to Archeon right now, I and that does mean I really should probably do more of my quest battles right now, because actually, I'm, I'm not at war with you guys just yet. I am not at war with the Northern Provinces, so it's still a little bit longer... I think you're probably going to declare war on me soon, Mao Ying, but at least for right now, I'm not at war. Um, so I think f at the moment, honestly, I'm, I should take this time, maybe wait until I recover a little bit more. Like, I think I should maybe go hit the Turtle Gate, burn you guys down, then uh, take over, give you guys that land. Um, then we can have it so we can do more of my quest battles, because how many turns until Village is here? 
Village is going to be here in two more turns. We'll be able to give him an army. Him and Kolek are going to be trying to work together to basically burn down Cathay. While I have Archeon, who I do want him to hit Mao Ying and get her trait. Um, he'll be then making his way over to start trying to get to Valkia. Because we need to try and get to her soon. I think... And I'm... Like, okay. Village. Uh, Village was one that we always usually survive. Um, Azazel usually survives. Festus usually survives. Um, the Demon Prince usually survives for a while, but he will eventually die. Uh, but Valkyrie is the one I'm a little worried about, so we do need to try and get over to her. But Kolik, at least right now, I can have you keep making your way over here. I'm going to confederate you. Um, this should be your only city, so I should be able to forcibly vassalize you guys. Um, I don't have the Legendary Lord over here, though, so I can't get the trait, sadly. But um, with at least Kolik right now, this army you've got here is not bad, man. Um, I'm going to be grab a couple more Marauders. Maybe some more Marauder Horsemen. Nah, just, just basic Marauders. Because you almost have a full stack basic army for right now. Eventually it's going to be only Dragon Ogres at some point. But I have to slowly get those things. Also, Archeon. Um, it does look like... Can I get you guys to switch over to Chaos Knights yet? No, not yet. Oh, hello! I see Kazrak is trying to discuss something with me. No. <laughs> Everybody must be dominated by Archeon. He will not accept anybody else at the same stature as him. No one is an ally. Only vassals. Only vessels. So let's see. So do I actually have enough movement now for this? I'm thinking, um, no, I won't. Next turn I'll be able to, though. Ra I can raid the area, though. So let's go over here, start raiding your shit. And then next turn, double check again. I just want to keep checking. Nope, no more. I was hoping that we might have more Dragon Ogres. But six Dragon Ogres, including the Regiment of Renown Dragon Ogre. Especially against this army here. That's the garrison again. The garrison. Yeah, that's not bad. I, I think you'll be fine. I think you should be okay. Uh, Archaeon here. Yeah, we're going to hit the Turtle Gate next turn. They don't have a whole lot over here, so I think you guys should be able to very easily take that without any issues. Then Village gets back next turn. We'll have him soon. Um, back over at the Writhing Fortress. I do think what I should try and have you guys do... I do need to improve the amount of um, unit or my heroes I have. So let's definitely make sure we get a Fighter's Lodge. Start getting that around there. You guys already upgraded the defenses. So just do that for now. Alrighty, Village is ready for duty. Let's see. So let's have it so... Let's spawn Village... I would say, yeah, in the Bloodwind Keep. I want him to be nearby. Also, this will allow me to get a Sorcerer immediately. So, let's get Village back up here. Hopefully, he has not been leveled up like an idiot. Please tell me he hasn't been. Let's see, so level ups. He does have... No, that's fine. Yeah, no. He hasn't put anything into his red line yet. He's got a little bit of his blue line. A bit of his casting. A bit of his yellow line. Yeah, no, that is perfectly fine. So, I am not opposed to how they've leveled up Village. Uh, they didn't get any of his personal line just yet. So, that's probably what we're going to be getting initially with him. Because some of these are actually not bad. And, now that I know that the demonic trait does give you um, more uh, physical resistance, that is something I'm definitely going to be wanting everybody to make sure they go down and grab. So, let's have you start grabbing. Um, are there aspiring champions for... Uh I think they're undivided. Yeah, no, they're always undivided for Aspiring Champions. Okay. I do want you to have some units that are... Um, I could see some undivided for you. You do have bonuses for Forsaken, so I think might as well get some initially. But grab some Marauders. And I can't technically uh, give over stuff just yet to make you um, Zinch focused oh wait no can you no i can't so i do not have the mark yet that allows me to do that so that will be here no that's the mark of corn oh man it's actually taking even longer Ooh, i think i'll finish this because with village we do need to make sure that we can give him the bonuses for zinch and have him start actually leveling up everybody for zinch so that will require us to grab and yeah, we need to get this this and then we can get that. So we need three things of research to be able to get over there. Otherwise, maybe this to here might work. But either way, oops, sorry. We'll have to start trying to make our way over to start getting that soon. I can at least get you just a basic army for right now. Um, and then I don't have money at the moment until I hit the shore gate. Which at the moment, let's see. Pyrrhic victory. I think we can let you guys just do the auto resolve with that. You did. That's kind of some more damage to before. And then make sure to. Now they get subjugated. I only really want to subjugate areas that are, or forces that are uh, of chaos. All good guy factions, all order factions, I want to just eliminate and have it so that they'll just all start dying. Um, 
So yeah, the Imperial Wardens are now out of the picture. Let's have uh, Arcan get out of the city, and then let's just sell that over to my allies once again. So you guys, I'll give you the other gate so you guys can hold on to that. Give you that and the money. A little bit of money, not a ton, but there we go at least. But now Archaon at least. Uh, basically, let's have you get some more experience and some replenishment. Um, and then I'll be having you do your quest battles. I'm also just trying to figure out where the hell is Mao Ying. Because I want to hit her. I will probably have it so we'll make our way over towards... Well, no, actually we can do this. Arcan can I kind of chill over here. You can hit Wei Jin, and then I can have Kolek and Village push over towards Nangao. That way we can kind of split their attention a little bit. I am gonna have to. I might make a tiny little army because I do again. I want to give over the Zinch units, so I'll give like you guys over to uh, Village's army, so he has more of our Zinch stuff. And once I have some, now that I have some money, I do want to get a uh, sorcerer here. We are going to be turning them into a Sorcerer of Zinch at some point, so it doesn't really matter too much what I grab them. It's more so what I want to have them be, what their trait to be. Uh, ooh, is that, that's just all spells? Cool, all spells. That would not be bad. Um, Infernal Dominance, Undivided for the entire army. I would probably say, I didn't like mine that one. I, I kind of like the reduced, oh uh, yeah, Chaos Familia. Uzul Godslayer, let's have you join on in. You'll be the caster in Village's army to try and join on in with him. And then the rest of my money I can actually use to keep kind of upgrading you guys around here. But now, Kolek should be able to now push on in here. So let's have you stop raiding that area. And again, no more units there. Uh, do we have any other... Again, I just want to double check. Nope, no more of them. So I was hoping we did have some, but let's declare war here. And we're going to subjugate uh, and vassalize uh, Krazak. I do want to fight this myself because... Until, well, actually, it's just for fun, honestly. I'd want to fight this just because we get to see Kolek and his army, which is starting to look rather nice, where at the moment we have a lot of dragon ogres, which will be amazing against these guys. They ha all have anti-large on the dragon ogres. Honestly, also, probably one thing I'm probably going to do with Kolek, a lot of these marauders, I think I'll just give over to Village, because Village is supposed to be the one that actually has a mortal army. Kolek, I want him to have a Dragon Ogre-focused army, so eventually I'm going to be replacing those Manticores, and I want to have just Dragon Ogres. It's just they take a very long time to get to. So let's have it so Kolek and all my Dragon Ogres group you guys up, and then we can just kind of rush forward here, because you're going to have some fun. You're my Wrecking Crew. You're my Wrecking Crew. The Marauders just be behind them and kind of help out. Try your best. Just I don't expect much. And then the Manticores, you guys can kind of just probably be flankers and try and just hit what you can. But let's just get you guys, start trying to run across, start pushing forward. Uh, but so Marauders and the Manticores just kind of start making your way forward as we go. I do want to get a good look at this guy, because I've always seen this unit. It's, it's kicked some of my asses in my campaign sometimes, but I never get a good look at this regiment around. But now that we're utilizing it in our like, own campaign, it's good to kind of see what we're working with. And I need to actually look and see, like, what's the difference between them and basic Dragon Ogres? So these guys here... Follow you. So they actually have a Chain Lightning spell, one use, um, that they have access to. Other than that, um... That, I think that's the only major difference between just differences in stats. Oh, their attacks are also magical as well. So that's one thing they've got is over them as well. Here we go, though. This should be the first bit of uh, re resistance we're gonna meet here with the Chaos Warhounds. You guys should absolutely slaughter, I would expect. So you guys can kind of start pushing on in there. Some of their spears there. Kolik himself, though, is going down the middle. Make sure that I have my uh, Chaos Warriors push on in here, too. Start trying to help out. If I see any archers, I will have my Manticores try and focus them down specifically. So you guys can try and go for that. Kolik, don't forget the splash damage, man. And then as soon as I start seeing some really nice blobs, I'm going to start spawning down, or calling down the lightning. Because I think I see a good blob over... Well, actually, we can wait a little bit longer. Uh, maybe I want to hit that on some of the archers. No, that's what the Manticores are for. Because you guys are going over to hit some of those archers. Well, this one's still flying. You're still flying. So you go hit those Ungor Raiders in the back there. Kolek, I see a really nice blob right here. Just every single one of you is going to be hit with this Thunder Strike. There we go. Oh, I missed the shot. Oops, missed the money shot. That's good enough, though. Got to see the uh, sky, at least. But no, Golag right here, just absolutely just fucking everybody up. 
God, I do love that finally, after so many campaigns of Kolok just kicking my ass in so many campaigns, I now get to make him a menace on the battlefield. I'm going to be so excited for this, because I don't know if I'm actually going to be uh, using a lot of other armies besides the Legendary Lord armies. But for right now, at least, I'm having a lot of fun just focusing solely on the Kolek and Village and Archeon. I think eventually, because we are going to be doing Domination Victory, we'll get to a point where um, we are going to be having other Lords besides just all the Legendary Lords. But I don't know how long it's going to take to get to that. Okay, let me make sure to actually get the money shot this time. Things are going well. Taking a bit of damage. I do think the Puric or Medium Casualties uh, initial... Um, representation of what it thinks the battle is going to go is actually fairly accurate, honestly. As this army, it is as, not as strong as it could be. It's doing well, but at the moment we need to keep just doing as much damage as we can, and eventually they are going to break. Like Kolak here, he's doing some good damage. Make sure you keep that splash damage up, because the morale is dropping. That's the main benefit we have over this army as opposed to other forces. I would like to have you try and go after the Lord there, but I don't think I can right now. And Kolig is just toying with this tiny little lord. He's somewhere around here. He's running. But for now, I'm having you guys actually switch to the Saigor instead, because he's the last dude with a decent amount of health. And with the anti-large you guys have, you go oh, yeah, you fucked him up. Yeah, it did a good amount of damage pretty quickly. But there we go. So now we'll be able to, we should at least, be able to forcibly vassalize now these uh, beastmen. Have them join in into the fold so we can have all of chaos under our control as we start making our way on in to conquer and destroy the world. Honestly, this campaign, I know we're going with the initially the domination victory. I could see this becoming a campaign where I literally go for the entire world. I'm having a lot of fun with this campaign right now. And because I'm not a campaign that focuses on building tall and it's just burn everything, kill everything... It's so much easier to just go point in a direction and be like, hey, go be a wrecking crew in that direction. That's your job. That's what you do right now. And any chaos factions we come into contact with, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to vassalize you at some point. Basically, we will fight everybody almost. Oh, there we go. And we should be able to... Yep, we can subjugate. So we're going to subjugate so you become the master of this conquered faction and become your vassal, paying tribute each turn. Yes, please. So there we go. So now we've been able to forcibly vassalize Kolek here. Or not Kolek, I mean, um, Kazrak. Sorry, Kazrak. So we have some beastmen now under our control there. I'll have it so, uh, Kolek, kind of keep making your way over a little bit this way. Because I do think I'll be giving you some of the stuff in, from Village, or give some of your stuff to Village's army. Still don't see any... Like, I want more... I want more Dragon Ogres, damn it, and I just don't see any around here. I do see some uh, Zinch Marauders, though, around there that I could possibly grab for, um, could grab for his uh, village, because he does need that. Kolik here, though, let's see. You need to start getting your personal line, because your personal line will make you disgusting. Um, can't be movement range, replenishment, seismic shock. I do want to get the bonuses to the Dragon Ogres as soon as possible. Um, so let's get this one next. So that gives them the dazed contact effect. Reduce melee attack, melee speed, melee defense, and speed. And they get more charge bonus. Yes, please. Definitely grab that. And then also, I forgot to get Archeon his upgrades, which I'll probably save for Archeon right now. Um, let's get him some more armor. My hero is now immortal. Let's get you some more health there. And then my uh, caster, let's get you evasion there. So that you're all good there. I do need to make sure that you guys are fully replenished before I start trying to do some more of my quest battles, but I think we're going to be focusing on that with Arcan for a little bit, possibly. Uh, keep getting the stuff that just gives us more uh, conversion, though, please. Let's see. We have a thing here with my vassals. Let's see. So we could wound uh, one of their lords, get some experience for him, and allegiance points with you guys. Martial responsibilities. Ah, yeah, just punish their transgressions. Do that. Um, okay, so we're just about to have it, so... Five turns to get that. I do, I do need the regeneration, so we'll wait for that. I then need to start getting the Arcane Branding Eye, because that would take me nine turns total to grab that. Uh, I am starting to get a bit more research rate now that we're vassalizing more people, so this will be pretty nice for us. We shouldn't take us too long to get there, I would hope. Um, let's have it so Archeon here. Let's see. I do want you to focus on your quest battles. Let's have it so... Let's, let's take some time to get all my armies in uh, ducks in a row, basically. My chaotic ducks in a row. Um, let's have Village start making your way back down around here. 
you are going to group up. Kolek as well kind of group up around with him. And basically what we're going to do is I need to just kind of switch out some of my troops. I'll have it so uh, you and you are going to be going into Village's army. I think I'm going to even give the Chaos Trolls over too. And then we just need to take it so that we'll grab all of the Marauders. Which I do need to double check. You can rank up. So you can rank up into a Chaos uh, unit now. So if you turn into a Halberd variant. Um, you need to be ranked 6. Because I wanted to make sure we do get another Chaos Knight unit to replace this one we're going to be losing. So we have to wait until a little bit longer to grab that. Um, and then these guys are already chosen. You need one more rank. Yeah, rank 7 to be able to become chosen. I could have you become a Chaos Knight, but I want to hold off on that for right now. Building-wise... Um, let's have you upgrade the barracks, and then I think, I think I can only recruit the heroes. Yeah, th these guys can only be grabbed around here, but that's a little bit closer. I do want to get, oh, actually, I can get an exalted hero around here. So let's get one, because I want to put one of you into Village's army. Let's go with... I would say... Missile resistance isn't bad. 25% missile resistance is pretty nice. Yeah, let's go with you. Let's go with uh, Azubur Lost Sotokol. I'll grab you. You'll be the one that goes into Village's army. And then I'm going to have you, again, Chaos Commander is kind of the one I like the most. I would say these other ones are okay, but I'm not going to grab them. Um, grab that, the training, and then Blade Master. And then you'll be grouping up soon. Ooh, Path to Glory. Is this first character that's supposed to be? So... You're supposed to be joining Village's army, so you'll be undivided. Basically, I'll be having it so that... Oh, is this unique for each lord, too? Hero? I mean, sorry. Uh, this would be a better way to sample to check. Yeah, you guys are a little bit different. Oh, nice! Okay, I wasn't sure if you just had all the same boons. It is individually, but I do like that. Oh, that's nice. The, the ones that you have are actually kind of more geared towards the caster one, too. That's nice. But, you know, we'll have it so you're not going to do Path of Glory. Um, at least not yet. This guy, once he's a high enough rank, he is going to go down Path to... He's going to devote to Zinj. But the uh, hero will stay undivided then. Alrighty. So, let's see. So now what we want to do is, again... Uh, let's first have it so Village, make your way up towards Archeon. And then I want you to... Okay, so first switch these two. Switch those guys, and then I also want the Chaos Knights. So, I'll have you do that, and maybe grab the Marauder Horsemen. I can switch that out. Now, the path I always like to go is I'd say Chaos Warrior, get them to Chaos Warrior, then have them become a Chaos Knight after that. So, just give me another Marauder in replace of that. Um, so, that will then be your army now for the moment. Um, I can have you grab a couple more Marauders. So, slowly keep grabbing your force a little bit stronger. Because you're making your way back over this way then after that. Then, Kolek, um, you, uh, at the moment, I want you to take over the trolls, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to give you the trolls, I think, for right now. So, I'll have Kolek go to Archeon, give, uh, have you take his trolls, and then you give him your best marauders. And then that means now you have kind of my monstrous army. Let's keep making you guys go over to the west here. Uh, you two are going to be trying to make your way over, and you're going to try and hit the city of Nangao. I will have it so that Archeon... Um, I think we could do it this turn, or do we want to do it next turn? I'm practically fully healthed. I think we can wait until next turn, because I can bring you over here a little bit, keep making my way over. You're going to be going for Wei Jin. Basically, I'll have you take Wei Jin. Um, that's just a basic city. And then, once we take that settlement... We can then have you keep making your way around, use the sea lane, and then we'll be making our way over to the forces of the Druki. Um, and then I do need to make sure that you guys don't have any uh, orders to give you right now. Are you in automatically at war with all my enemies? No, just, just the ones that are uh, most recent. So none of those at the moment. Can't trade with you. Actually, we would be quick deals for that. Trade. I wouldn't mind trading with you guys, but again, I think for the most part, it's it's only subjugation. <laughs> the only way I'm going to start training with you guys is if I make you my vassal. Ooh, let's see. So this is Contest of Champions. Let's see. So we can have this. We get more character experience or unit experience. Uh, because I'm just about to do a bunch of quest battles, I actually think I'm going to try doing the Champions Arena stuff, actually. Um, and then one thing I do want to double check, because I'm curious about this. So for Village, does he start with his items, or when does he get his items? Because he technically gets this one. Uh, be unlocked, issued at level rank 15. I'm assuming I'll still be able to get this for you. 
Uh, you're just one rank away from being able to get it yourself. Also, I probably should give you some better upgrades here for yourself if there's any additional items I have. Talisman of Endurance, because you're kind of a nice... I like how you're a mix of a lord. You're a melee cat, a lord and a caster lord in one. So, you guys keep making your way over this way. You'll be almost there uh, soon. But I do think the last thing we're going to do for today is I want to do one of my quest battles. And then I think Archaeon will then be uh, good for now. So let's have you do... So, next one... Let's see. So I think I got... Let's see. I'll just look at which one's technically the easiest out of all of you. And we'll do that one next. So technically, it says the Crown of Domination one is actually the easiest out of them so far. So let's have it so... Yeah, let's do the Crown of Domination next with uh, Archaeon's army. We can do this. Get him this item. And then uh, in the next video, I think we'll probably have it so... Oh yeah, that's not that bad. There's a Lord of Change, or a Murder Chicken, whatever you want to fucking call it, uh, in this army as well. Definitely get the Marauders, the leadership. I love that I only have those shitty-ass leadership banners. But it works at least for the Marauders, because we need them to stay alive and at least keep getting more experience for themselves. So, oh, damn, I could have made one of you guys a champion, uh, chosen there. Shit. I just realized, um, I think that, is that the, that's the Morker's Lost one. More cores lost. Uh, more ca more cars lost. Uh, you guys could have actually become a chosen there. Damn it. That's fine, though. Uh, this army here, a lot of chaos spawn. A lot of chaos spawn. A lot of large entities. I'm so glad my entire army literally revolves around, hey, we have a big-ass halberd that has bonus versus large. Fuck everything bigger than us. That's a shot. Even as this demon spawn plots to overthrow me, I know my destiny is absolute. Balakor will coronate me. Come then, Changer. It's going to be interesting when I meet Balakor <laughs> and I force him to either be confederated or vassalized. For I am the anointed, the bringer of woes, the one true Lord of Chaos. Damn right, Archeon, damn right. We've been proving that a lot recently, where at the moment, everybody falls before you. So Archeon, let's have you and your aspiring champions. You guys will be the initial push. Let's have all of my Chaos Warriors then group up. And then my Marauders. I'll have it so you guys will start pushing in initially. Chaos Warriors will fall up behind them. Well, actually, no. <laughs> I'm taking inspiration from my D&D campaign. The, uh, the Spartan Champions will run forward because they're badasses. But the Marauders are being pushed into the fight by the Chaos Warriors. So they have nowhere to run. So if you guys kind of just in the back for right now. But start pushing forward with everybody. Face your final challenge. Oh, technically this is supposed to be the last one we do. But hey, we're doing it second. Why not? Here we go, guys. Charge forward! Up more minions of the demons assault your uh, rear. Oh no! It's not like I, I don't know, kind of left my forces, that my Chaos Warriors in the back there. That's fine, I guess. Uh, yeah, get the uh, Marauders. Take inspiration from the uh, Aspiring Champions. Join on in and help them. Chaos Warriors, all of you guys kind of push on up the still a bit. And then uh, you guys are going to kind of be watching our rear. I can have you guys kind of go off to the side here. They don't really have skirmishers, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Doesn't look like they, they look like only they're sitting men around here. To the side, so we can have some of my chaos warriors. Like, let's have uh, these three. You guys kind of over to the side here. Although, I don't think it matters too much because Arcan, at least so far, you're doing well. Spiron champions are kicking some ass. Love to see that. Lord of Change is up in the sky there. I've got a little bit of casting. Is that going to be able to get through your barrier? I don't know if it will be able to. I feel like it's not going to do enough damage. And I don't have any way to actually hit him in the sky, so I have to wait for him to come down and actually fight me. But, uh, He's probably not going to do that until the very end, at least. There you guys are. A lot of chaos sounds here. Chaos Warriors are fine, though. You guys can handle them. I've got a good army here, so I don't expect this to be that bad. Yeah, so my infantry is doing amazingly against you guys. With them having so many... Like, these spawn units are going to get slaughtered by me. They are unbreakable. But, if for the most part... Oh, you finally landed! Oh, good, thank you. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, hey, Archeon, go find him. Go try and fight that Lord of Change. Because at the moment, they are trying to bring more forces over from the side, as they were. But, I did, because of the guys that I brought over to the side, you're holding them well. I do gotta remember that I do have my Chaos Knights brought you guys over to the side here. Just help out with the Marauders, you'll munch through them. Absolutely just slaughter them with what you guys can do against them. Ah, perfect. So my Aspiring Champions have been able to at least stop this Lord of Change for now. He's kind of bogged down with you guys. Uh, who is this? So these are the, uh... 
Let's see, this is the uh, the Lily's X's and the Eternal Shadows are the ones that have kind of stopped him. He does actually seem to be deteriorating now. I think the entire enemy army is now broken at this point. Or they're very close. A couple more casts of magic around here on top of these guys. I think that will do them in. Because everybody else, let's see, these guys are all shattered at this point. All shattered. Some of these Marauders are barely alive, Jesus. Um, and then there's just basically the spawns who won't give up until they actually all die. There we go! So, we've now been able to take a, get another one of my quest battles out of the way. I did kind of technically do it out of order, but that's fine. We're not going to worry too much about that. In all, in the end, it doesn't really matter. We're still just proving that we are truly the ever chosen by claiming every single item on this list. Gasworks did really well. The, you guys having the anti large did amazing amount of damage against these um, uh, spawns. So this army now, I just need to have you guys take some more time to recover a little bit. Um, I'll probably have it so Village and Kolek are the ones that start the war with uh, Miao Ying. I'll have it so Archeon, he's just kind of pairing himself and he'll hit the uh, settlement on the east. Then once we take that out, because I'll probably have it so like they'll stay around here keep doing their own thing. Archeon does need to just keep going around collecting all of the legendary ones. So that's going to be his... Ooh, there we go. Doom Knights are available now. Yes! So we can put that into Village's army. Um, I think I have enough money for that right now. Yeah, they cost 400 per turn. That's fine. We don't need a lot of money. So I'll have you get that. Because I do really like the idea of you... How do they upgrade again for... Oh, Crown Domination. There we go. For Zinch again. So you can get up to them if you go from a Zinch Knight. So I could actually get you guys... Once I have this unlocked, I could get you to become Doom Knights. I, I would like that. Um, Village, also, you got some XP. Let's see. Um, that's how you start getting near personal line. And then I am curious on what's going to happen with your item. Because at the moment, I don't have a quest for you, and I don't think I can usually do the quest battles for other legendary lords. So hopefully they'll just give it to me? Because I know at least Kolek, uh, he had his. How is his supposed to be spawned? Yeah, rank 7, quest battle will be available. Because um, I'm just wondering... At the moment, I've got those two items there. Slowly getting all the items. We only have two more items that we have to give uh, Archeon now. Let's have you... Let's see. Get your rank up here. So, let's have you start grabbing... Yeah, just get more armor there. My hero, you can grab um, more wound maker. And then my sorcerer. Let's have you get the reserves. Ooh, actually, um... Yeah, er it reserves and everything first. We'll then grab Infernal Champion and the Aura of Chaos later, I would say. Um, now we can just move Archeon a little bit closer. I actually can't get across the area. Yeah, no, we'll have you like, kind of go like right there, get a little bit more of punishment. Um, I do need to remember to make you... This is pushing it with my economy. <laughs> but I want more Chosen. So they are a bit more expensive. So I can get you to become Chosen now. You guys can't do any more upgrades just yet. So that's okay. We still have an okay amount of money right now. And eventually, like... In two turns, this will upgrade. I can then get this upgraded, and I'll be making a little bit more money. We are kind of pushing it with wanting to have all the lords all at once. Oh, I actually did get his quest battle. Oh, cool. Again, I wasn't sure if I was going to be getting uh, Village's quest battle there. Okay, so we will have to do that. What kind of army is it? It's an empire army there. Okay, uh, Village's force is not ready for that whatsoever just yet. Uh, he needs to be a full stack army before he ever tries to accomplish that. So we'll kind of hold off on that for right now, I would say. Um, but, basically, I can have it so that next turn, we're going to be able to start trying to push on in and hit the forces of Cathay. Uh, everybody just keep kind of forcing your way forward. Keep raiding as you make your way over here. And I think this will actually be where we are done for today. Um, we're in a pretty good position. We're going to start pushing into Cathay now at this point. Um, I will not have Archeon stay here for very long. I think he just needs to kind of basically push on in, help take this uh, Dark Fortress, maybe see if we can find Mao Ying and have him beat her, but so I can get her trait. But for the most part, I'll have uh, Village and uh, Kolek stay around here. They can burn these forces down for me. And then um, from there, we'll just have to keep going on our train of collection, where we'll be, it'll be Valkia, Valkia, Sigvald, um... I'll be vassalizing the Demon Prince at some point. Then we need Azazel and Festus. 
And Bellacor, we need to figure out what we can do with Bellacor. I think we can also va va confederate him too, I think. Um, I want every single one of them. But I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any of the thoughts you have on it in general. This is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time.